Hey everyone, I'm Colin from Allstead Farms. And I'm Rebecca from Allstead Farms. And we are here in one of our watermelon fields. Um, we've been picking watermelon now for about two weeks. And we started these guys as seedlings in the greenhouse in, in late April and transplanted them into the field in late May. And we should be picking all the way through the fall. Watermelon is a lot of people's favorite summertime fruit, including myself. So come on by and get some, some Allstead watermelon. So most of the watermelons that we grow here are seeded watermelons, which means when you cut it open, you'll see black seeds inside. Uh, we do have a few varieties of red seedless. Seedless watermelons have been bred uh, for a couple years now because people wanted an easy to eat watermelon without any seeds that they had to pick out. And a fun fact is that the black seeds that are in the seeded watermelons, you can actually eat and not as enjoyable to eat. Uh, but we grow all kinds of different watermelons. We have yellow watermelons, red seedless, um, sugar baby seeded watermelons. And as Colin said, they're available in our farm stores and farmers markets all throughout the fall. So a common misconception that many people have is that the seedless watermelons are GMO. And that's not actually the case. They're conventionally bred to not have um, dark black seeds. And so the seedless ones, they don't produce viable pollen. So throughout the field, we will plant uh, pollinator plants so that the seedless watermelons will still produce a fruit. Yeah, so these seedless watermelons are ones that you'll typically see um, in the grocery stores pretty early on. Um, the demand for seedless watermelons was there because they were easier to eat. It was easier to just slice up a watermelon with no big black seeds in it. Um, and because of that demand, crop breeders all across the U.S. and other countries made the effort to breed out the seeds. And as Colin said, because of that, you need a little bit of extra help to grow them because without viable seeds or pollen, they aren't able to fertilize with um, other watermelons in the field as our seeded ones are. Um, the seeded ones grow on their own, interpollinate with each other, um, and then just grow with those seeds in them. But other than that, there's no true difference between seeded and seedless other than the presence of the seeds and their pollination methods out in the field. And watermelons produce a male and female flower. So all of our pollinators, our honeybees, are very important to have a good crop of watermelon. Um, when you're looking in the field to try and find a ripe melon, the, uh, the stem is gonna start to dry out and there's little tendrils near the fruit. And when they're ripe, the tendril will be dry. And on the bottom, you'll have a a ground spot you could call it start to form and when it's ripe that ground spot will be a nice creamy yellow color. So when you have a ripe melon in the field easy as just plucking it off the stem and we can cut into this. Nice, juicy, delicious watermelon.